Well, first of all, thank you for letting me horn in on this panel. Um, I'm kind of shy, so it was sort of awkward to ask if I could take part. But um, my cancer advocacy work, other than raising my two daughters, is really the most important work that I've ever done. <clears throat> and I didn't want to miss an opportunity to share with you all a little bit about it, especially because my most recent effort, Stand Up to Cancer, was started by nine women. I always say hell has, has no fury like some women pissed off about the pace of cancer research, and that was the case for us. But <clears throat> when I, um, you know, I have a lot of causes I'm very interested in, education, uh, women's rights, global equality, giving opportunities to girls worldwide. Um, and, but, uh, and when I was on the Today Show, I used to be asked all the time, can you MC this event, MC that event, osteoporosis, Parkinson's, Children's Aid Society? I'd be like, yeah, sure. But I never really felt I had a singular cause that I could be uber passionate about. And of course, my cause came from personal loss. My husband, Jay, uh, for people who watched the Today Show back in the day, probably remember, um, <clears throat> died of colon cancer when he was 42 years old and I was 41. That was, believe it or not, almost 15 years ago. And uh, I realized that I had a built-in bully pulpit from which I could educate the public and increase awareness. And from that, from my on-air colonoscopy, which I'm sure you all really enjoyed, <laughs> maybe remember, um, I decided I wanted to start money, raising money for research for colon cancer because at the time, it was one of those cancers, like breast cancer was, several decades ago that people just didn't talk about, despite the fact it's the number two killer of men and women in this country. So <clears throat> under the auspices of the Entertainment Industry Foundation, which is the philanthropic arm of Hollywood, and Lisa Paulson, who's become a very close friend, I started the National Colorectal Cancer Research Alliance, where we could cut through the cumbersome uh, grant process you have to go through when you're getting money from the NCI and raise money and give them to, give it to um, very um, wonderful scientists that are working in all sorts of areas from diagnosis to prevention to treatment because um, Jay died within nine months because there, were, there was only one treatment option at the time for stage four colon cancer. So, from, so that's where I really put my efforts. We had a lot of uh, fundraising events. We raised um, almost $30 million for colon cancer research, but then a few years later, I felt that I was really being greedy, just focusing solely on colons. So I decided we needed to focus on all kinds of cancers. My sister Emily died of pancreatic cancer two years after my husband died. So, um, you know, our family has really suffered a lot, and Jay's mom died of ovarian cancer. So um, I got together with these women, kind of crazy women like me, including Sherry Lansing, who was the head of Paramount, Laura Ziskin, who is a Hollywood producer, who actually was a Hollywood producer, who lost her seven-year battle with breast cancer last year. Her last movie, Spider-Man, will be coming out next week, by the way. Lisa, who, who I mentioned, uh, is the head of the Entertainment Industry Foundation, and a number of other women who have expertise in marketing, public relations, and science, and just really all kinds of different areas. So we started this organization called Stand Up to Cancer because we knew that one in two men and one in three women would be diagnosed with this disease in their lifetime. And we weren't, we weren't content with the pace of scientific research or progress that was being made. So we ha we've had, we'll have our third fundraiser, which is televised, sort of a, a strip show, not that kind of strip show, across all the networks and all the cable properties where we've raised um, so far $180 million. But what we have done is changed the paradigm and the way cancer research is done.